Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, guys, I think I have the most ambitious thing I have ever made in this game. Look at this behind me, guys. This is the full-size wooden coaster. Now, this is an extremely intense build. In this episode, we are going to be taking a look at it in the tile editor and seeing what I went through to get this thing here today. And aside from checking this build out in the tile editor, we are, of course, going to be doing a walkthrough of this epic roller coaster. So, guys, Let's hop off of here and check it all out. Alright, so here we are at the front entrance of the roller coaster. This build is using some extremely epic mods by Lord Payne. They are new and they are absolutely amazing. So let's get in here and get a much closer look. So you can see one of the first things we have is this extremely awesome tunnel asset. It is absolutely fantastic and it, I think it actually ties this build together quite well as an amusement park ride anyway. Alright, so you can see here there is a massive platform and some really interesting rails here. So these are all tile assets, guys. We'll be hopping into the tile editor in a moment to see just how ridiculous this thing is. Uh, but you can see we have ourselves some little roller coaster cars here. So we can bring up the connection tool. Uh, you can see there are a lot of bearings. They are all hooked up together with even more bearings. And I do have two of them here. Uh, we are going to go for a test run in one of them after we check out the tile editor. And then we're going to put a whole bunch of them on autopilot, and we're just going to see what happens. Who knows? And we'll get on one of them. Uh, so before we actually do the full run-through of the roller coaster in the cart there, let's head on over to the tile editor and see the insanity. Okay, so we are now in the tile editor, and this is what I was using, guys. So take a look at this. This is just a single plank of wood. No joke here, guys. Look at that. So what I ended up doing was I, I used this plank of wood here. You can see it's it's relatively large. Uh, so I was able to copy and paste this thing quite a few times. So if we just quickly slide an extra one over here, uh, so you can use that by doing the uh, shift key. You can spawn a whole bunch of them. And now what we're going to do is just kind of create ourselves a really awesome X pattern as if it was like some support beams for the roller coaster. Uh, so this is pretty much what I did though guys, it was pretty simple in terms of using the tile editor, uh, but it took me hours guys, I'm telling you. It took me hours and hours to make this roller coaster, and I'll show you why in a second here, but this is pretty much all you have to do is extremely carefully press buttons in the tile editor, and there we go. Alright, so that is pretty much our little X shape right there. So all you gotta do though is select them all like this, right, and slide it over, and look at that. Now you have yourself a really awesome pattern that you can repeat over and over and over again like that. So, I mean, I went from that right there all the way to this, guys. Look at this. It's absolute insanity. I think this is probably the most assets I have ever used in a single game, uh, but nonetheless, it is so epic to see. There are just so, so many assets, and um, and it literally each one is just a section of those pieces of wood, so you can see it's just a whole bunch of them. So I had a lot of fun building it. It was extremely frustrating at times. Uh, this is probably my favorite section right here though, is the part where the roller coaster actually goes through underneath the supports and then back up to the next ramp right there. Uh, this is just such an awesome build though guys, I had loads of fun doing it. Uh, and you guys can do this on your own as well. If we check out some more of these assets here guys, you can see there's just a whole bunch of roller coaster asset pieces and I mean they're relatively easy to use. As long as you use these grid properties right here, uh, and you change the rotations and stuff to make sure that they are absolute, you know, and you can build some stuff relatively fast like this by dragging and dropping these assets. And all you gotta do, guys, is check it out on the Steam Workshop. It's absolutely amazing. So great work, Lord Payne. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite builds thanks to this absolutely fantastic mod. So let's hop on out of this tile editor and get back into the real game. 
All right, so we are now back in the actual game here, so I hope you guys have a bit of an appreciation for how many hours you might have thought this build took. It is so ridiculous. So, all we gotta do though, guys, is hop up in here. There we go, there's our seat. Pop down our safety restraints because this thing, I think, could be pretty dangerous. But it's using thruster power, guys, and it's pretty simple. I have it set up to a switch so you can turn it on and off. Um, there, you don't want it full blast. If you send this thing full blast, guys, then you are going to have a very, very bad time. Uh, but while we're up here, we are going to just take a closer look at this before we do like a full speed run through. Uh, this is probably the section that took the longest here. I spent quite a few hours creating these barriers and building them up and rotating them around this curve section. So, um, there are some issues with the tile editor, though, I will mention. You can see some of these planks are actually actually turned the wrong way and that is because eventually sometimes after a while uh, some assets that you would select and click again uh, it would automatically reset their rotation for some reason so it was really annoying uh, but I started to give up on trying to make it perfect and I just kind of took what I could get and in the end I mean nonetheless this thing just looks so good all right so let's go up another level here I think we are gonna try our best to stop on this little platform here. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, no, we're rolling back. No, okay, I cannot stop on this platform. I wanted to get out and show you guys the top view there, but that is okay. We are now going down this thing. I am not even really using too much thruster power here, guys. Uh, we just kind of want to stay safe and we don't want to screw this thing up. All right, so we are going around this next bend. This bend here, you can see I ended up making this one square because that was like the last part that I ended up doing. And after so many hours of building, guys, I was done. I was, I was spent. All right, so we go up. These are like the camel humps here. They go up and down a couple times like so. And then this section right here, guys, this is my favorite part here. This is the tunnel. We go right through the little structural tunnel there. And we go up the next massive drop zone. All right, so I, I think I did a good job staying relatively true to what a wooden coaster style would be. And it's relatively simple, you know, there's no crazy loops or anything like that. It's more so just like a classic thing. Oh man, we're getting some speed here. All right, another bump right there. And then look at this, guys. This is pretty sweet. Let's zoom in a bit. And here is kind of like the finishing tunnel. I, I honestly didn't feel like making wooden planks rotate around this snaky bit, so I kind of did something a little different, and I made a very, very large tunnel. So that is a simple walkthrough of the roller coaster, but I want to try and do this as fast as we can, so let's kind of stop this thing. Okay. Oh, man, it's starting to lag. Okay, let me reset these guys. We're going to try something really crazy now. All right, so here's the plan for the rest of this episode, guys. I am going to try and do a speed run right now of this roller coaster. Let's see how fast we can do it. And when we get back, we're going to send a bunch of these things out on their own. We're going to see what happens. I have no idea, but here we go. This is, this is a speed run of the wooden coaster. Oh, wow, look at that. It looks so crazy. I'm gonna try not to crash because this thing can glitch through it sometimes, guys, so you gotta be careful. All right, sharp bend right here. Now we are on to the camel humps. Oh, and I have done it. I went too fast, guys. Can I get back on? Is there any chance? There's no chance. All right, so I have totally destroyed it, but you know what? At least I'm right next to the, uh, to the station right there. So why don't we just hop out of this thing and bring it over there, and then we might as well try and do the auto run. All right, guys, before we do the auto run, I just realized one of the thrusters that I had loaded in was actually well above the standard uh, thruster range. So it was actually going to be way too much power, and that, I think, is why we glitched out. So let's try and do this again, the speed run on the wooden coaster here. Oh boy, we are going super fast. All right, it gets really violent at the bottom of those hills. All right, we're cruising along now. So far, so good. This is the section here. This is the camel bumps. That's where we glitched out last time. And it must have been because of that thruster. All right, look at this. We are cruising along now. All right, here comes the structural tunnel, my favorite part. And we are going back up to the next section here. All right. 
We were on the home stretch almost. We are slowing down though, really slowing down. The anticipation is killing me. Oh my goodness, it's like a real roller coaster. Oh yeah, put your hands up, woo! All right, cruising, okay, and I have totally glitched out again. <laughs> All right, so I guess you can't hold on to those for too long, but you know what, I might be able to modify this and make it so that it doesn't do that ever again. Alright, so I am gonna hop over to the station one last time, guys, and we are going to do the auto run. I'm gonna modify those things a little bit so that way they do not crash, because if I have multiple of these things running at once, it will destroy the world. But I did want to take this opportunity to run up that extremely long drop off there and just kind of soak in the view from the top here. Look how tall this thing is, and just look at the massive scale, and I mean... I don't even know how many wooden planks there are, but I would imagine that there are thousands of them. Maybe not thousands, but at least hundreds and hundreds of them. But still, nonetheless, guys, this is my new favorite tile in Scrap Mechanic. Let me know down in the comments what you think. But now, it is time to do the auto run. I guess I gotta jump off of here, don't I? All right, here we go. Whoa! It's pretty sweet, actually. You can run underneath these planks right here, and you just kind of, you know, maybe actually you could look around for lost items, because people always drop that kind of stuff off of the roller coasters. All right, here we are. We're at the station now. All right, guys, I have done a couple things, and it is finally time to do the auto run. So I've added some pegs here on the inside of the roller coaster mount. Uh, so hopefully that will stop it from sliding off of the wheelbase. And I've also changed some of the thruster power as well so that it's not quite as strong. So let's hop into the first one right here. So this might be either the stupidest thing I've ever done in Scrap Mechanic or maybe it might be the most awesome thing. All right, so let's send that one off. There goes cart number one. And we are going to hop into cart number two. Uh-oh, get off. There we go. Alright, so there we go, they're off now. Maybe, okay, I might have probably wanted to wait a little bit before I sent that on its way. Oh yeah, that was a mistake. Oh my goodness, the game is dying here, guys. Look at this, it looks like one really long cart. Can I please grab this and get it off? Okay, there we go. Alright, so that is completely stuck now. Alright, so I'm gonna have to start this over again. All right, it's time to start this over again. So let's just uh, actually, yeah, let's do this. We're gonna start this one up and let that run, let that one run for a second. Okay, it's definitely having some issues because of these little center pegs here. You know what? All right, that might not work. I think I'm just gonna have to let them run and hope that nothing bad happens. All right, so I've reverted all the changes that I have made to these things and it is finally time to just hope for the best. Fingers crossed, guys, and from the from the lessons that we've learned from these mistakes that we've made, we are gonna just wait a second and let that roller coaster run for a bit. And now, I think, is probably a good time to start this one off. All right, so that one's going. We got another one up there. Look at that, that one is up there. It is now going down the ramp. All right, let's get into our own roller coaster now and hope that they do not glitch out. There we go. All right, it's time to run. All right, there's the other roller coaster. Look, wait, I'm gonna stop for a second and slow down. Watch this. This is so epic. Look at that. It's running on its own. Oh, the other one has potentially gotten glitched out. Uh-oh. That is not good, guys. I'm surprised that that one made it, though. Look, this one is going. We are now in tandem with this one. I'm just going to slow it down. Uh-oh. That one has stalled. All right, so you can see, guys, that the auto run will take quite a bit of work. So if you guys do want to see me make this wooden coaster with an automatic running version, uh, let me know down in the comments because I could certainly do that by adding some color signals so that way this thing actually knows when to turn the thrusters on and when to turn them off again so that we don't get these unfortunate events where uh, you can see we have one stuck on the ramp right there and we also have one that has glitched off of the track down here uh, simply because of the uh, the speed from the thrusters. Alright, we're gonna get some lag here. 
So anyway, guys, that is going to be today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. I really hope you guys did enjoy this roller coaster. I had some fun and frustrating times while I was making it in the tile editor, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check it out on the Steam Workshop, and of course, if you guys did enjoy this build in Scrap Mechanic, then let me know, please, by hitting that like button or something down in the comments. And if you want to see more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel, hopping into orbit, and maybe even turning on some notifications for the craziest stuff coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank you so much everybody for tuning in, and I will be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.